we are definitely facing challenges. Many people are unwell, some are struggling for their lives, some have passed away. Although the percentage of those who have passed away is very little, we cannot risk infecting people. So the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, told us more than 1400 years ago to stay at home. Today, if you were to look at what the rich and the poor are saying, they are saying, stay safe, stay at home. The wealthy are saying that, the poor are saying that, the powerful are saying that, the weak are saying that, people of all races and religions are saying, stay safe, stay at home. People from all walks of life, the most healthy from amongst us as well as the sick, may Allah give them cure. They are all saying, stay safe, stay at home. Did you know that Aisha radiallahu anha in a hadith narrated by Imam Bukhari rahmatullahi alayhi, she says, I asked the messenger about plagues and he said that if you were to stay at home, this is speaking about the stay safe, stay at home. If you were to stay at home and you were to bear patience, then you would be given a reward similar to that of a martyr. Amazing. That is telling us to stay at home and bear patience. Why bear patience? Because it's going to be difficult to stay at home. We're not used to staying at home. Look at the wealthy with all their wealth. They have to stay at home. The safest place at the moment is with your loved ones at home or at times if you don't have loved ones around you, stay within your accommodation, within your home. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make it easy for us. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says in another narration that a sick person should not enter into the company of a person who is healthy. And this is part of laying full trust in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. When you lay your trust in Allah, you need to do whatever you can in terms of what you believe is best for you. That would, that would mean make an effort to do that which is beneficial for you. That which is most beneficial for you. Make an effort to do that which is most beneficial for you and seek the help of Allah in that and don't be lazy. Don't be lazy. Do whatever you have to to be benefited, to be protected. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us. In another narration, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam tells us that if you hear of a plague, don't go to that place. And if you are in the place, then don't come out of the place to the degree that the narration of Imam Ahmad says, don't go out of your house. And that would mean don't let anyone else into your house. Talk about a lockdown, talk about self-isolation, talk about the sunnah of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. In fact, his instructions.